What is going on everybody? Anthony Maslone here. Thank you for tuning in to my e-com journey. Now, a little something that I want to show everyone is a super valuable tool that I found called Canva.com. Now, if you're familiar with Canva already, kudos, it is an awesome tool. If you are not familiar with Canva, I highly rec recommend that you uh, watch this video that I'm about to do. I'm going to take you guys over the shoulder in just a minute and show you how I built one of my logos for a store that I just started called My Fit Gear, which is me diving into the fitness niche for the first time. Now, Canva.com is super efficient in building um, these really low-cost, high-resolution pictures where you could add text and uh, whatever the heck you want, and the versatility is awesome. I just love it. I just spent two bucks building a picture that I now use as the background of my Shopify store. So right now, I'm going to take you over the shoulder and give you a quick walkthrough of how I did it, how simple it is, and how low-cost it is. Hey, everybody. going to give you all a quick walkthrough of Canva.com as I spoke about earlier in this video. Now... Here are all the different design bases you could start with. Um, once you have an account, you have all of your stuff down here, your previous designs that you could access. Um, I've toyed around with presentation and Facebook cover. Now let's start with presentation, for example. And now you have all these layouts, elements, text, backgrounds. And my personal favorite is being able to search through their million images that they have. Uh, you could also upload down here. So let's say we are going with the fitness niche and let's make another fitness background like how I had made before. So let's start with a little layout possibly. No, 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 doesn't apply to me. Let's take this one. I like this one right here. I also like coffee as well. <laughs> now. Obviously, I have to tighten up this text over here. 130 is pretty crazy for text size. Boom. All right. Progress. Let's make a fitness appreciation. Let's just ride their wave for uh, sake of example. Now I could completely take away their background here. Let's say I could put, for example, my URL is myfitgear.design, which it is. If you'd like to check out my store, it will be published soon. And let's look in their million photos of the gym. As you can see, not everything's free. Some things would be charged a dollar. Some some of them are free, in fact. Let's find a nice picture here. All right, I've used this one here, this very picture, and one of my other backgrounds. So we could blow it up, super high resolution. You're not infringing on any rights. You have the rights to use this picture completely because you are in fact paying for it. Now we could send it back behind my text. By heading back. And throw a little transparency on it. So we could focus on what's in front. Let's make this text pop a little bit, change the color. And voila, that took me all in all maybe five minutes. And then you could just press download. You get your high quality image and a dollar later we have that without the Canva watermark in our collection of pictures. Now, let me show you real quick how I've personally implemented it. Just a couple of my examples. Here's my store and how it shows up as a slideshow. And on my Facebook page, this is the one that I created as my profile picture for my Facebook page. As you can see, I used the dumbbells. I used a little bit of a layout, added some text, made it pop, you know? and I paid probably all in all about $2 for this, and I find it super effective to make my Shopify store look super professional. Now, if you put yourself in the customer's shoes, you know, if you 
arrive on a store and it doesn't look very professional, I doubt you're highly inclined to buy their product. So this is why I find Canva super valuable. Doesn't really hit into your budget hard at all. A couple bucks out of your pocket and you get this great value in return.